I welcome you to this uh, representation. So kindly uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Yeah. So in this video, we will be looking at uh, uh, Sans Paper 1, a 2023 GCE specifically equation B4. Yes. So this one here, it is, uh, it is coming from uh, work, energy, and power. So the question reads, uh, figure B4.1 shows a crane at a construction site raising a steel block of mass 100 kgs through a vertical height of uh, 16 meters in 20 seconds. So we have the power input, which is 1,000 watts. So the power input here, it is 1,000 watts. Power input, 1,000 watts. So now what you need to understand here is that power input is greater than the power output due to some reasons of friction, I may say. I may say. Okay. So we have uh, the height, which is uh, 16 meters. Then the first question, which is question A, Loman is saying, uh, calculate the work done by the crane. Now, this work done here, it is done vertically, which means there will be a grav, there will be a gravity which which will be acting on this uh, a steel block of mass hundred kgs, which will be acting downward. Okay, so here I'm going to say since I know that work is equal to force multiplied by distance. Now on this part here, distance will be will, will change to height since this one they have given us height so i'm going to say a uh, work is equal to force multiplied by height now saying there will be a force which will, will act downward to the steel block okay of mass 100 kgs so here i'm going to say since i know that force is equal to um mg or m which is the mass multiplied by acceleration now on this part a acts the acceleration will be the acceleration due to gravity. So in the place of force E, I'm going to put mg. So my final formula is going to be work is equal to mg multiplied by h, which is the height. So now, our mass here, we, here it is uh, 100 kgs. So I'm going to say 100 kgs multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, which is uh, 10 newtons per kgs multiplied by the height which is a uh, 16 meters okay so here i'm going to say 16 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 10 i'm going to get 16 thousand joules so work here is measured in joules or the si unity for work are joules followed by the next one which is a roman numeral number two is saying the power developed uh, by the crane the power developed by the crane so it is the output they are asking us to calculate the power output so now the formula for, for finding power is like this power is equal to work done divided by time in seconds so we have already found the, the work done here so i'm going to say power is equal to work done which is um uh, uh, 16,000 joules divided by the time which is uh, 20 seconds then my answer is going to be 800 watts okay this 800 watts will be my power output. Like the one I was saying, power input is greater than the power output. Okay. The last one, which is a question B. Given that the power input to the to the motor is uh, 1,000 watts, calculate the efficiency of the crane. So efficiency is equal to power output divided by power input multiplied by 100%. Now in this in this case here we have. Uh, the power output which is uh, 800 watts divided by 1000 watts which is uh, the power input multiplied by 100 percent so our answer for the efficiency here is going to be 80 percent okay so 